Hey everyone, this is Nathan with Bear Creek Arsenal. Today we have our big board calibers here at the range. The 450, 458, and the 12.7 by 42. We're gonna be firing FMJs into these water jugs. The FMJs will kind of give us a equal playing field. The different grain weights will play out and the caliber size will play out. But it's better than using FMJ versus a hollow point. That's kind of unfair res results in that type of test. But We'll take, uh, we got the GoPros on set. We're gonna use those in these videos as well. Give a few different angles. And then I have a treat for you. We have, for the 458 SOCOM, I have some ammo from Broken Butterfly. It's a 300 grain hollow point. Then I also have a 600 grain Colossus round. We're gonna shoot those into some scrap wood we have from the shop. We'll get that from a few different camera angles, show you the destructive power of those two rounds as well. We'll go ahead and cut to the part of the video where we start shooting at these. All right, so up first is the 450 Bushmaster. Shooting the left water jugs. All right, up next is the 458 Cellcom. All right, so up next, the final one is the 12.7 by 42 50 cal. All All right, so this is the results from the 450, 458, and the 12.7 by 42. Now notice the 450 didn't go through all four juds. It is the way the bullet actually, hand, uh, the projectile handled hitting the water. Instead of staying a solid piece, it actually fragmented on hit, upon hitting the water. So we got pieces of it everywhere. So we was only able to get through two pieces of water before it jetted out the side and didn't go through the last two. 458. It just punched through all four, through the pieces of wood and split it, and kept going straight into the berm. And then we shot the 12.7 by 42. It acted as a solid all the way through it as well, punched all through, and we was able to find all four, uh, all three pieces of the casings, but wasn't able to find these two projectiles to show you how they operated, uh, how they uh, performed. And the 450 is just in many different pieces. We'll go ahead and cut to the next part of the video where we take the 458 and uh, we'll shoot some wood pieces with the 300 grain and the 600 grain projectiles. All right, so the first projectile we have is a 300 grain TSX round from Barnes. Now, Black Butterfly has loaded these up. They're, uh, we've had them here, we use them for testing, but this would be the first time we put them on video for you for us. The next round we have loaded up is the 600 grain Colossus. Now this is a subsonic round for the 458 SOCOM. It is said on their website that it acts like a uh, solid projectile even though it is a uh, soft point. We're going to go ahead and shoot at this wood now. All right, so from left to right, we have the entry on the 300 grain TSX Barnes total copper round. And as you see in the first two pieces of wood, it stays tight, then it starts to open up on third and fourth. It hit the water jug and it was probably almost completely open. It went, changed, it changed trajectory once it opened up. It hit the water and kind of took off to the, uh, to the top side of the berm. Now the 600 grain Colossus round, punched through the first two, then it started to open up on three and four. The exit wound cavity is bigger than my thumb. 
and we got a pan video to show you the, the front and back sides of those and it just shows you how devastating the 458 SOCOM is and the plus side of that type of stopping power is it's subsonic so for anybody wanting to go with a suppressed big bore the 458 can shoot the subsonic and the supersonics just fine but this has been Nathan from Berry Creek Arsenal I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching